No, no, no Facebook. Streaming. We need, there needs to be like some sort of green arrow, like a, a go light. Hi friends, I know we're live now. Just chatting it up over here, waiting for YouTube to catch up. How are you all today? I'm so excited to be here with you guys. It has been a long time since I was in front of the camera doing a live with you all. I've co-hosted with Rachel a couple of times and done some stuff with Tanner with the webinar, but I feel like it's been a really long time. Here's the secret. They don't love me on the camera. And so they won't put, what, what? They won't put me in front of the camera Oh, anymore. gosh. No, Becca has lucked out is what it's been. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, anyway, how are you guys? It is super hot here in East Tennessee. I was loving the weather, and now it's like 80 degrees again. Okay, it's 73, but Becca says, quote, super hot. Is it 73? It's 73 degrees. The high is only 77. It's today. hot in that craft room. It will, yeah, we had the doors and windows open. This the high morning. tomorrow is 79. That's what I was looking at. Right. Well, the high today is just about that. Yeah. So we're going camping tomorrow. I've said it on the live Monday. I got caught actually on the live Monday working on my camp trip. But, um, and I was very excited because it's end of October, right? We're going to be doing some trick or treating things. And I'm thinking, okay, full fall camp trip. It's going to be beautiful weather. We can have yeah. a fire, yeah. actually. No, it's too hot for a fire. Back 80 down. degrees. But see, you never know. East Tennessee weather, the other day, the high was like 45. And now the high is like 80. The lows are in the 50s. So I'm hoping it gets in the lows decently early in the night so that we could still do a fire because the kids love it. I mean, that's part of camping. Anyway. It does. It does. As soon as that sun goes down, it'll cool off. Adrian, you are so sweet. Oh my gosh, I can always count on you to make me feel better. She said, hope you're feeling better. You look great. Adrian, I feel amazing. So good. Thank you so much. Becca always looks great. Oh, that's not true. We actually just said before the live, we were having a conversation <laughs> <laughs> that if I wear a ball cap or a beanie, which I do a lot, even if I wash my hair, I'll wear a ball cap or a beanie sometimes. Um, and no makeup because you can't wear makeup with a ball cap or a beanie. And someone literally referred to me as sir. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> it's a rough one. But I, I just go with it. Like, it's just so funny. I mean, I'm not oblivious to the fact that I don't look feminine when I wear a hat. So whatever. Anyway, guys, we're making some fun projects today. I know that you guys saw the thumbnail for this live and we did this. Was this? August release? I don't know when the release was. Sometime this late summer. Um, these cut files that I made. I made this whole collection super fun. She did. Um, and Christmas theme. So th the idea of this is these are very simple projects, which is great. We don't always have to have very multi-step projects to have a fun and gorgeous project. And so uh, we're bringing four fun um, Christmas gift ideas today. And we're going to make them all. I haven't pre-done anything. So it could be a disaster. But you guys are so sweet that um, you'll be nice about it, I'm sure. Hi, Wes. We've not seen you on here in forever. How are you doing, Wes? Yes. Has your wife had the baby yet? Um, it could have been months ago. I feel like I've not talked. I feel, He's, it's been, it's a while. been a while since yeah. you've been here, Wes. It's good to see you. Megan, or, we have you know, a high of 12 degrees this Sunday. That sounds like the high? heaven. That yes. is so weird. Me and Beck are so alike sometimes and I'm like, ew. <laughs> 12 ew. degrees? Gross. I bought, a, I bought a coat. A Carhartt coat. Oh, yeah. Because you can't be a southerner without a Carhartt right, coat. Right, right. I mean, they're hideous guys. But I thought... Well, maybe They're effective, it, though. Maybe it'll be cold this winter, and I can actually use it. I don't know about it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Baby is great, Wes says. Yay! What's her name? Let um, us know. Leah, how was Asher? How was the doctor's appointment? Also, how was the Hobby Lobby? Um, junior Craft? Are you a female or a male? It doesn't matter, but I am just curious, because when I refer to you... Uh, you were on the webinar the other day, and Tanner and I were talking about how awesome it is. This is a high school student, Rachel. Oh. Um, yes, who was watching during, it was it math class? I'm very curious to know how that went for you. Uh, Megan, come on up to South Dakota, Becca. I will switch places. Megan, honest to God, I have said this over and over for, for my family, who I'm literally attached to at the hip. Figuratively attached to at the hip. Anyway. Uh, I would move because I love cold weather. I would in a heartbeat send a Carhartt coat is a brand. It's Carhartt's like, a brand. Yeah. It's like a, 
farmer redneck brand. Totally against country boys. Country boys. Good old yes. country boys. Absolutely. Um, pneumonia. Oh. Aaliyah, that's terrible. I'll be praying for you and him for sure. Who Shame. has pneumonia? Who has pneumonia? Asher. Oh, no. <clears throat> mm. Aaliyah, I bet they're, they won't get any more tiny cutting boards because it was part of the fall release, and I bet they're not going to be restocking that. That stinks because they're sort of an evergreen thing. You would think that I think so. they would be available all the time. Did you look online? There are. It, it, there is a link on the top. On the, the yeah, uh, see if you can video order of them. quartz in the description, I've linked that. Link those for you. Um, Junior Craft is a guy. Wonderful. Welcome, welcome. I love seeing familiar names on our feeds. This is the first time I've actually noticed you on a live feed, so that's fun. Welcome. Um, I can notice your diamond. You know how everybody yes. has those little name yeah, emblems? Yeah, I love that. I really notice all the name emblems. Shay, the pic of Beckett broke my heart, right? Guys, oh, if, Beckett. Shay is one of my Facebook friends. Uh, I, I posted a picture today of Beckett. He, on like every other Wednesday, they have to wear a dress uniform at their uh, school. So it's like a button-up shirt with a tie. And he elected to wear the sweater vest, which he didn't have to today. I thought that was odd. He cries every single time he has to wear it. The kid is not, he doesn't get upset about a lot. He hates that uniform. Regular uniform, absolutely fine. Dress uniform is total meltdown day. And so I posted a picture of him having his meltdown. It was very pitiful. But at this point, you just kind of have to laugh about it because he knows it's coming. I did warn him last night. He should have just been prepared. Um, anyway, guys, you are amazing. I could chat all day and we're gonna chat after the live. So let's go ahead and jump into this. If you are viewing this live for the first time, welcome here. Welcome to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. We're so glad that you have found this. And my name is Becca Oaks. I assume that everyone always knows, but they don't. I'm a craft producer here along with Rachel, who is my co-host today. And we love to craft and we love to teach you to craft and we love to help you use our cut files and our fonts that are available as members of Makers Gonna Learn. So we do have a subscription-based membership here with Makers Gonna Learn. We're not just teachers of crafters. We provide the awesome SVGs and cut files along with the educate or S cut files and fonts along with the education on how to use them. Um, and I'm sure Rachel has dropped a link for you guys. Our membership right now is on sale for $30 off using call code fall 30. That's fall three zero. So definitely take advantage of that and get access to are thousands of cut file uh, library, hundreds of fonts. I would say we need to do a new count. I would say we're close to 5,000 cut files, would yeah, you not? I would agree. Over 500 fonts at this yep. point. And guys, it's so funny. We used to add, but you know, about 20 cut files per collection. Here lately, it's been even more than that. We're givers here at Makers Gonna Learn. We're givers. Yeah. Actually, the problem is that I've like I've become obsessed with creating SVGs, and so I'm constantly adding them to the site, whether they're asked for or not. <laughs> so uh, we just have lots. Super fun. Anyway, we're making this bag today. This so is a cute. this is a tote bag that we got from Hobby Lobby. Look how cute it is. It already came. Well, here's the blank one. Um, and that's a pouch. Yes, the, it came with a little a pouch. pouch here, and it um, it has Velcro. I I was shocked. So cute. It's actually decent. Um, it's the basically yours creative crafted tote brand. I don't know. It's five dollars and ninety nine cents full price. So if you catch it on a sale, this bag is super affordable. You can afford to give these to all of your kids teachers if they actually have teachers this year i don't even know beckett only has one teacher um ah, that's not true that's not true anyway i was gonna say he only has one teacher so i can i'm gonna do all of these but he has a couple of teachers and i could still do all of these projects for them because they're so affordable so if you wanted to do like a kit with the tote and a little baggie and the cup and the the um keychain all of this and Rachel, you purchased these cups. Do you remember how much they were? I got them a four pack on Amazon. They were less than 20 bucks when I bought them for four, which I think is pretty good for some metal camping. Uh, sometimes you can snag them at Walmart. 
Uh, none of these links are below today. They will be tomorrow. We're talking under $20 your cost, I would say. Very conservatively under $20. For, four. for all of this. Yeah. So you can definitely give this as a gift to, to teachers or a friend or whatever. It doesn't have to be. But that's just an idea. And they come together really quickly. Ten teachers. So maybe choose one item to give your teachers. Because at this price, it would be like $3. That's yeah, very that's affordable. Cheap. Yeah, that's especially cheap. if you get your um, vinyl from like 143 Vinyl and get it in the, the, long, the yeah. long bulk rolls. It's very affordable that way. So we have the tote. Um, this, this little baggie is from Chalk Couture. And I don't have another one, but I do have this guy right here. Um, and it looks very similar. So that's what we're going to be using today. It is from the, when we went to Atlanta Mart, when Courtney and Tanner and Anna and I went to Atlanta Mart, we found this little company, like we almost didn't even see them. It was so small, but when you walk in, they have all sorts of things like this and little like canvas totes and bags and the everything. The cutest stuff. I've never even heard of them, but you purchase them in like bulk. So you do have to have a business license to purchase. And there is a minimum, I think it was only like a hundred dollars uh, minimum to, to purchase with them. But we got a ton of stuff for a hundred dollars. Honestly, it was insane. Um, so I will find out that company. And when we drop the links for, um, for like the cup and everything, I'll, I'll list that as well. So if you are interested in buying, um, some bulk blanks, things like this, um, definitely check them out. They're very, very affordable. Anyway, that's what we're using today. Um, and then I do have another little cup and then we have these little motel key fob chain things that are so popular right now that we got from Etsy. I did talk about these in the live when we released this whole collection. Um, but we'll definitely drop this link as well. Uh, the Etsy company, dealer, shop, whatever, has several many colors. I know that a couple of the colors were sold out because you guys loved them so much and you grabbed them up. But you can buy these in packs of five. Again, very inexpensive, very affordable. And so stinking cute. I love yes. those hotel keys. I, yeah. Have I missed anything while I've been chatting it up? No, we just have some amazing viewers kind of talking amongst themselves, which is fun. So, I love that. Yeah. Thank you, Sin. These projects are fun. Sin, how are you feeling, my dear? Sin, did you get our package, by the way? Wayne shipped it out yesterday, and he said it was going to be there today. In Canada? That's FedEx. Oh, my gosh, Becca. <laughs> FedEx Express. FedEx, well, I, can't, I shouldn't talk about this. I hate ground. I hate FedEx ground. <laughs> anyway, let me know if you got it. I'm super yes. excited for you to get it. Um, let's, if we don't have any questions, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to move on to design space and Rachel can pipe in and let me know if you're asking any questions. I would absolutely love to answer them for you. Miss Carol says Dollar Tree has lots of those type of bags too. Yes, that's a fantastic place to look. Dollar Tree has all kinds of good little blanks. Go check Even Dollar mugs. Tree. Their yeah. mugs are good for that too. Um, okay, so these are the cut files that I've chosen to use with these projects. I went ahead and brought them here into design space. Um, and then honestly, all we have to do is size them. There's nothing that we're doing to these cut files, which is really nice. Oh, we're zoomed out all the way. They're just huge files. So let's go ahead and size them down a little bit. Let's start with... Uh, we'll start with this ball humbug because it's right here. So all we need to do is measure our little keychain and decide how big we want it. Um, let me see really quickly. I've got my little measuring tool here, of course. We're looking at about an 1.25 inches. So the width of it needs to be 1.25 inches in order for it to fit there. So just at the top, I'm gonna go up to the top with the ratio lock intact so that it doesn't make it wonky um, and just put in 1.25. So that's finished. How easy is that? Now guys, this cut file, this SVG, um, when you bring it in, has the top hat separated from the letter. So it would be very easy to change the color of it if you wanted to, or fill in the contour. Um, to do that, you would just go down to the bottom right where it says contour. And then you could go ahead and start like clicking the inside of the hat. If you wanted the hat to be a solid color, that is a good option. Um, Honestly, let's see what that would look like. Let's go ahead and do all of this. And then, will it let me do the outline? Let's see here. Uh, well, we need to ask the file creator. I wonder what they have to say. Right, that file creator. <laughs> if you guys don't know Becca, 
Becca created all of these. Yeah, you could. You could do that. Okay, let's go back and fix that. Anyway, so you can change the change the cut files up a little bit if you wanted to. Like I said, fill that in. You could make it black totally and then do um, contour out the outline so that it there's still definition in the hat. Or you could just totally change it to a different color if you don't want a black top hat. Up to you. Um, so that is finished. And then now we're going to grab this tis the season cut file. And so I'm just going to look on the front of this bag again, grab my little measuring tool, um, and measure this space here. It is 11 in width by nine in height. You guys so, know how important it is to size things correctly. It's so important. It's so important. So one thing that you might want to do, since we are working with a rectangle on the front of this tote, is grab a basic shape. We do this all the time. Um, so we would just grab a basic shape, and then we can go ahead and size the width of it to 11, and then we'll unlock that size ratio so that um, it will allow us to do the height in a different height without changing. Um, so we've got that, that's gonna be the size of the front of that pocket or the front of the tote where the pocket is. So we're gonna send this to the front and then we'll just size this down. This is such an easy win, guys. Make sure that when you are sizing this, guys, you don't wanna make it too small. If you make it like little bitty like this, yes, you're conserving um, HTV, but it's not It's not gonna, it, sometimes it, when you don't size things correctly, it just looks homemade. Yep. And that's not a terrible thing. I'm nope. not saying that. Do not get me wrong. Um, but, sorry, I'm getting distracted. You did these two. I did, Sin. Yes. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. Um, anyway, yeah, just pay attention to the sizing of things. It really does make a difference. Now, if uh, honestly... It depends on what you're doing too, because like the mug that I'm doing, I made small and I kind of put it over to the side. In the corner on the bottom and it works so yes. much, but it looks so professional to me like that. And so there is room for, you don't always have to fill an entire space uh, with the cut file that you're using, but just be mindful of, you know, what, what you're using or what the, what the blank is. For instance, a tote, people are not going to be able to see if uh, what it says, if it's teeny tiny on a tote, because you're not, you know, I, I don't know. I hopefully, hopefully I'm making sense. Uh, just play around with your sizes for sure. And, uh, junior craft, we yes. are actually having a regular live tomorrow. Tanner's going to be showing the, um, fonts that we're going to, is it fonts or cut files? This they I think are it's fonts. It's the last weekend of the fonts. month, I think. No, it's not. Is this a release week? Yeah, this is a release week. I can't even keep up. So it's the, no, it's the font release. Okay, so it is. Uh, are you going to have another Craft Life tomorrow? Or tomorrow? Um, yeah, it's the font release tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and then Sarah asked, and the only reason why I'm saying this, it doesn't pertain to today's live, but Becca was the one that created this project. She says, has anyone made the singing, caroling reindeer card? I can't figure out how to get it to hold the book. You glue it. Is that what you're talking about? I'm yeah, you sure. just you just glue the little hands to the book. But Tanner is going to be doing that live pretty soon. Yeah. Um, yes. Thought Tanner was away for his birthday. He'll be away Friday, but he is yeah. going to be as far as as far as we know, we'll be here tomorrow for yeah. one of us will be here if not Tanner. Um, anyway, so once I'm finished sizing this to this rectangle, I can just hide or delete the rectangle because I don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the other ones again, just measuring my blanks and sizing accordingly. So my little bag here is eight by, we'll say five, eight by five. So let's just unhide this and we'll use the same one here and then change the size of it to eight by five, just like that. And then we'll size this down here, move it over. We need to move it to the front, send to front. There we go. 
And guys, if you're wondering, this is actually a great day to do this, and it was not very intentional. This font, uh, that's like the mistletoe and Mary and tis the season, is a font that is available here at Makers Gonna Learn. So I intentionally made these cut files with a font that we would be releasing, and it's being released tomorrow. It's called Naomi. So spoiler alert, this is That's one of amazing. our new fonts. I love this yeah. font. I'm obsessed with it. We um, get questions all the time. What font is that? What font? Yes. Most of the cut files we have are hand lettered, meaning it's not exactly a font. So we, I, I know Becca was thrilled to be able to tell you guys that these were created with a font that yeah. you guys have. So. Well, and one of, uh, one if not, no, two of the cut files that are just off the top of my head are customizable. So you would definitely want to be able to use, you know, the fonts that are available here at Makers Gonna Learn. Yeah. Um, yes, this font is amazing. And you may notice like when you download the font into Design Space, uh, just the regular letters are available like here on Mary. And you can look right here. Um, this is actually such good timing. The the extra little swooshes here on Tis the Season and like the end of mistletoe and the top of this and whatnot, these are actually um, glyphs. And so they're available in the font, but not available in Design Space. Does that make sense? They're like special characters. So if you are not familiar with how to use glyphs, um, Design Make Sell, we have an entire class. Uh, in Design Make Cell that teaches you how to use them in Inkscape, which is a free um, designing program, and then also in Illustrator. So if you use Illustrator, um, you know, you, you'll design these using those glyphs and then um, create basically an SVG with them and then import into Design Space. So check it out if you haven't already, if you are a Design Make Cell member and haven't already checked those videos out, now's a good time to do it. You're gonna want them for these projects if you're customizing. Okay, so this right here, the Mary Everything is the cut file that's going on our cup. And I'm not gonna bring in a little um, square or anything like that. I just measured on my cup to see what I wanted and 2.5 inches in width was a really good size for that. So now I can hide all of these or the, the rectangle that I don't need. And I want to think about how these are gonna be cut out. So. This ball humbug and the Mary everything are both going to be on regular vinyl. So I'm going to change those colors to be the same color um, so that they both cut out together. And then my meet me under the mistletoe and my tis the season are both. Um, mm, here we go. They are both going to be out at HTV. Is something. Oh, OK. Are they both black? I can't mm -hmm. see because I of these so. lights. OK. I didn't know if one was gray or not. Okay, so now all we need to do is press make it. We've sized everything, we are ready. And since these are HTV, we're gonna go ahead and mirror by pressing this button right here. We'll flip it and when it cuts out, we can put it down properly. This one we're gonna leave as is. Now friends, these are tiny, 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 tiny letters. You know I love you if I'm weeding regular vinyl with itty bitty letters on a live, bear with me, it's gonna be a good one. She does love you guys, trust yeah. me. <laughs> so let's go ahead and press continue. We are connecting to our Air 2. We are using the Air 2 today. And I'm going to select Everyday Iron On as my material. And I'm gonna go ahead and load my mat with my vinyl and we will cut out here. Let me get some space cleared out. Got a lot going on. That was pretty much the full 12 by 12, wasn't it? I wasn't even paying attention. Yep. I would okay. just go ahead and throw lay it down there. on there. Okay, so if you are new to heat transfer vinyl, which can also be referred to as HTV, let me zoom out a little bit. When you are placing your heat transfer vinyl on your mat, make sure the shiny side is down. So this is the shiny side. This is the, they both look shiny. So it's sort of, this one's more shiny than this one. And that's the side that you went down. So your transfer sheet is the side that you want down on the mat. So we're just gonna lay that down just like this. Ooh. Oh, Rachel, this is a this is a powerfully strong and sticky mat. Good. Yeah, Monday we were complaining because we couldn't find a good one. Now this one's almost too sticky. So I have my true control knife and then this is just one thing that we love to do. Go ahead and cut on the mat. It will not hurt your mat to do this. And then we can remove the extra and we are ready to cut that heat transfer vinyl. There you, you, re you read my mind. Look at me, you Rachel. You're welcome. 
I'm gonna. And yes, Miss Carol, up. it is already mirrored. Becca did mirror yes, that. Yes, I did. Space. Thank you, though. Um, we have our fine point blade in, so we're good. Okay. Have I missed anything? Let's let me let me look back. I don't think so. Did I miss anything over the past two minutes? My dog turned off the TV. No, no, no. We're good. You're good. Uh, do, 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 do. I seriously need to take vacation time to enjoy design myself. Sounds so amazing and uh, I can't read that because it says out of range. Why is oh, it doing that? So amazing and definitely captures my attention. Thanks for making work sweeter, Rachel and Becca. Oh, thank you. Now, Mama Disney, you've been with us for several yes, years. Yes, she has. Why is your name Mama Disney? Are you a mama and you absolutely love, love Disney? Have you like, tell me? Have you looked at her Insta account? No. So no. are you like an influencer or a like insider or what for Disney? I've been meaning to ask you that. That's a great question. She does post. About, I've, I mean, I've seen you yeah. on here a lot, Miss Mama, and you're so sweet. And if I'm not mistaken, um, your first name's Maria, right? Let me know. I cannot remember. Uh, Brenda, hi, how are you? So glad you can tune in with us. Um, Becca, it's making, it's uh, cutting the wrong mat. Well, praise the Lord. Well, well, praise the Lord. Yeah. Okay. This is, this is fine. Yeah. I'm just going to flip it like this. Sure. It's going to be fine. Yeah. That's fine. Because fine. my mat, actually, where that already cut out, um, it's going to work out fine. I don't need that part when it's cutting out correctly. Good grief. You know, this did this to me yesterday. I would select one mat, and it would still cut the other one. I did it three times. I finally just had to turn the Cricut off. That's really weird. It's ridiculous. At least it's cutting the right one this What is time. it cutting? It's not cutting anything. Ah. Oh. Rachel. Becca, you know. <laughs> you know. Oh my. Um, yeah. No big deal. Guys, some some people like it when we prep. Other people don't like it. Um, we've, me and Becca, uh, Becca <clears throat> and I have never, ever, not once, regretted prepping for a live. And the, the, the one or two times we're like, eh. We, we don't have to. Surely to Pete it won't be that bad. We all, something always happens. Something always. always. No happens. big deal. Whatever. No, it's fine. It's fine. Catherine, it's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Yes. Yeah. That's basically our motto here. Well, mine and Rachel's at least. Tanner never lets anything get to him. He's so like laid back. He rolls and it cool off. cool about it. And Rachel and we're like, oh God, oh God, they're going to hate us. They're like. I just don't lie. I just want things to go a certain way. So funny. Everything's fine. <laughs> yes, this machine is awesome. We love this yellow machine. Is this a special one, Rachel? No, it's just a sunflower color. I mean, I hate yellow. I'm going to be honest. I love mustard yellow. And that's this, close to yeah, mustard. Yeah, this is, this is... That's not as bright and annoying as yellow can be. Correct. Absolutely. Yes, I am, Maria. Okay. I work full time. My family has loved Disney's for years. Oh. My oldest son was married at Disneyland. Oh in 2019, that's like a dream. My 25-year-old works for our Walt, Walt Disney, Disney World, World in Florida. Oh, my god! Crafted for years for classrooms and kids. Amazing. Mama Disney. Miss Maria. Asher just came out here and said, I dropped the remote and can't get it. Dad, nab it. <laughs> I think I should replace that cuss phrase with praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah, well, that is the alternative here. You know, you know. Uh, have a great time. Oh, Carol. Court's at the dentist, too. You're, so you're in, like, good company and spirit. How Ooh, funny. I yeah. hate the dentist. Nah, I'm not a fan either. Although, it's only because my teeth are so sensitive. Does anybody else have super sensitive teeth? I have sensitive teeth. Now, since I switched Ooh. to, I have a, it's not burst. What's it? Oh, it is burst. I have a burst toothbrush now. And I've noticed that, it, like, my teeth aren't as sensitive. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, but I've never had a cavity or anything like that, so I don't hate the dentist because of that. It's just, I you hate. You gotta go and then yeah. sit there and it's uncomfortable. Ugh. Anywho, anywho. Um, I think. Adrian says, prepping makes me feel better. It does take the stress off. It does, Adrian. Right. We like to prep when we can. 
I'm watching your channel for the first time, but I subscribed and liked it. Yes, yeah, thank, thank you thank so you. much. So glad to have you here. So sweet. So sweet. Mary, oh my goodness. I went to craft. My shoulder's still giving me trouble. I'm glad I'm... I am glad I am glad your mat didn't load. Happens to me pretty often. Right? I, like, what in the world? Cat, check out the toothbrush. So my friend uh, Emily is a dental hygienist, and she raves about it. She promotes it. Um, and it's a fantastic toothbrush and it does this automatic um it's like a subscription based thing so it, it, sends you it automatically heads. sends you the head oh. yes so that's amazing that i love good. it and yeah. it will it will stay charged for like two weeks and it has this awesome carrying case if you or travel case if you it's called travel burst it. what does it look like like does it look like one of those quip little brushes or is it bigger like that has a little it's it's like stand. in between those two okay let me pull it up Burst tooth bra. Burst oral care. Is I'll put the it website. on the overhead okay, cam anyways because we're almost done. Can you see? So mine's white, but it oh, comes. Okay, yeah. It comes so in it kind of looks like the. Uh, kind of like, like the, the oral bean. Yeah, yeah, kind of. They have different packages. Um, like I said, mine's the white one, but the rose gold is so pretty. It is pretty. And it has like three different options. Like it will. Do 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 kind of pulse. pulse. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Couldn't get it out until I made the sound effects because you know I'm a sound effect yeah, person. Yeah, you get so good at it. I'm very good at it. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Um, I think what I'm going to do is grab another mat and cut out the other vinyl while I'm weeding this. If I can do that without unmiking. Let's see. Now, guys, you might be thinking, why is she not just taking that off and using that mat? <laughs> question is very simple. Rachel and I were talking today, or the answer is very simple. Um, we cannot imagine trying to weed without our mat because it literally is like a third hand for us. It's terrible weeding without your mat. Yes. I, more power to you if you can successfully do it. But I swear, I spend more time just trying to like unroll it and I don't know. I've cut way more than I need, but I didn't want to click and I don't want another craft fail. So I'm going to load that up there. A couple of people are already worried that the other iron on went into the part that was already cut. It did not. Perfect. But thank you so much. I did look at that. Um, now, remember, we are changing our material. So go ahead and change that in design space. I'm not going to. Um, it's premium vinyl. So we'll do that. And then we're going to press our flashing cricket button and grab my fun tool here and start weeding. We love to weed HTV here. It's our favorite. We use it anytime we can. <clears throat> and I could if I want to, and I probably will go ahead and do it because it'll make it easier. Go in between these two cut files that I've cut with my true control knife. There we go. Pull that off right there. Everybody wants the rose gold toothbrush. Burst. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. I think my sister got that one. When I got mine, it was not available. So white it is. But I don't take it camping with me, which is ridiculous. I totally should because it does have that super convenient. Um, long battery life. Long battery life and carrying case, like the travel case. Oh, yeah, yeah. But when I'm camping, I miss it so bad. Seriously, it's so funny. When I walk into my house, that's one of the first things I do, whether I brush my teeth like before I left or not, like right before I left, I'll go and brush my teeth with it. I'm, I a, I'm a you. teeth freak. A tooth I'm a freak. teeth freak too. I'm a teeth freak. Oh, Kat says, uh, my iPhone and Apple Watch are rose gold. Might have to get a, a toothbrush to match. Yes, my honestly. My phone is rose gold. And this is how um, weird I am, guys. I've had this phone for over two years. Um, I won't take the plastic off the back. <laughs> Rachel, oh my gosh. I won't How, do it. Oh my gosh. I think maybe my husband made me last time I cleaned it. How did I not know that but about I was, you? I was super reluctant to do it. I'm <laughs> just, I'm weird that way. And I always have a case on it. So I was like, I don't want it to scratch my phone that I never ever look at. <laughs> So I leave my... You know, it's so funny though, because most people who have a phone have a case on it and you never actually see the color of the phone. So right. it's so funny to me that they have all these different color options. Mine is that like army green color. Yeah, he made me take it off. I just checked. Let's see, look, like I'm... Uh, 
I had, it was dirty. It was just like a gross piece of plastic. I'm pretty sure he stole my phone and ripped it off because he knew I wouldn't do that by myself. Because <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh, I love that. Okay. And I always have a tempered glass screen protector on my phone. It oh, is, I do too. It it's a must. It has saved me hundreds of dollars. And guys, if you get those tempered... Rachel, where do you get yours? Oh, Amazon. Okay, I was going to say, please tell me you do not buy them at like AT&T or Verizon oh, because God, they're $50 no. a piece. No. And they say that it's free. Like if you bust yours, then they'll send you a free one or whatever. It's not entirely true. You have to pay shipping. It ends up being like almost $15 or it did when I did it. And you can get packs of three on Amazon and eBay for like five bucks yeah no, like, no it's dirt cheap yeah totally I, it's so worth it i always keep one on, on there oh me too and i'm actually pretty good at putting them on um i am too i pride myself in yeah it. me too People bring their phones to me and i'm like same Thank you. same so do you how, how do you clean yours before you put it on oh i do a, i do a lot i'll okay. do alcohol uh -huh. then i'll do it with like a one of those fiber towels and then I'll look at it in the light and make sure there's no like little bitty particles on it. So the reason that I'm asking, I do the same thing. I'll clean it with alcohol and then the fiber and everything. Yeah. But if you take scotch tape and line the screen with scotch tape, rub it really good and then pull it off, it pulls off any dust. Oh. Yes, a um, cell phone store employee showed me that one time. Oh, that's nice. And that's how I do mine every time. That's nice. Because I, if, if there's even a speck of dust under mine oh it, it, it comes me. off yeah i can't do it it kills me okay so we've got those weeded <laughs> now is the fun part dr pamela said never weeded on the mat until i found y'all now i won't do it any other way no there is no other way you love to like hear that you're doing it completely wrong when you do it another way okay so we're burnishing also this is something that a lot of people who don't know any better skip Definitely burnish before you start weeding. It helps a whole lot. It really does make a difference. This is hard to see. I'm going to try to cut off the extra. Becca, Sin said, I'll shatter the screen protectors when I try and put one on my phone. Sin, bring it when you come in October and I'll put one on for you. Oh, you mean you shatter. Oh, I was like, how are you? So you put it on and then it shatters. Is that she, what you're saying? I think she means that she shatters when she tries to put it on. I don't know. Either way, sin, that's worrisome. If it shatters after you that's put it worrisome. on, it's, it's working. But, yeah. <clears throat> okay. I These are teeny, teeny, tiny letters. So I'm going to grab our pin pin tool um, and do some weeding with this. Let's see how it goes. I can't, I literally can't even see because these lights are so bright and there's just not much, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just hard to see. Okay, that went well. That weeded really well. Yeah. Well, it's this vinyl. I think the last time I used Cricut vinyl, <laughs> bad decision. Okay. That, that looks good. Yeah, and that's a that little well. thin line. Super thin, yeah. Yeah, she shatters it as she tries to put it on. Oh, gosh. Sin, bring it bring what it in October. Doing, Sin? Yeah. What in the world? I, I need a video. <laughs> I need a video. <laughs> Waste a couple bucks for us, well, Sin. We can make, yeah, we can make a YouTube video on how not to put your screen protector on. Starring Sin. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, that's, that's funny. Yeah. Okay, we have that one weeded. And now the harder one because it's even smaller. No, you uh, got this. I've got it. I, yeah. You've got this. I'm, what do they call it? A professional. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm so professional, I'm worried about it. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I'm, it's, it's just the little bitty letters. And um, sometimes they just want to move on you. So just do it, take it very, very slowly. So that you can take your little pin pin tool and kind of help them lay down if you need to. Uh, that's on, honest. See how that one's wanting to come up? I'm just going to take my little pin pin tool, hold it down. That's honestly the only like advice that I have. Rachel, do you have any advice for that? Oh, I was holding my breath that whole time. Oh, oh were you? Great. Look. Were you nervous? Look at that. Um, yeah. You have no faith in I me. Have, like, I have all the faith in the world in you. <laughs> I have less faith in the vinyl, not you. Oh! Oh, that's yeah. so good. 
It looks so good. So exciting. No, that's my only, is to go slow and pay attention. Also to read it. Sometimes people are just staring at the letters. Honestly, it helps to read it. Because yeah. you're like, everything, and you're like, wait, 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 I've missed a letter. Um, I can't even see the center of this. Ugh. You got this. It's so little. I can't imagine doing this without a pen pen tool, though. Hey, right? if, you, if you don't know, right? look at the difference in the end of this tool and the pen pen tool. Can you even tell how tiny that is? It's literally like a needle. It is. It's perfect. Um, yeah. In fact, some people have said they made their own pen pen tool with a needle. And like a uh, retractable, not a retractable, a uh, mechanical pencil. Okay. Oh, J Janice said, Rachel, where's your face? My husband wants to see the lady with the accent. I have Tennessee, I have a Tennessee accent, but not as good as yours. Love it. Do you want me I to talk like Rachel? Yeah. I, I can give you an accent. Oh, Lord. Am I, is it that bad, Becca? Is it that bad? It depends on what day it is, Rachel. I For me? Yeah. My my accent changes sometimes. What the crap am I doing? I don't know. Oh no, that's disappointing. Everyone loves know. Rachel's accent. I didn't though. know my accent changed. When I say yes, ma'am, or no, sir, or something, people will say, "Say it again. Say it again." I went to a conference in Salt Lake City, and there was this girl there, and she was Australian or something. And I could have sat and listened to her all day, but the second. That I'm yes ma'am, no ma'am. They're like, oh, Lord, have mercy. Where are you from? And I'm like, I know. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, Barbara, you cannot. We're not heat pressing on the mug. Um, I do have a video on ironing on a mug, but it, I don't. I wouldn't like recommend it if you don't have to do it, to be honest. It's a little bit hard to do. Um, Becca will be applying regular vinyl to the mug today. Um, Megan did call me out. She said, well, I thought you didn't like the pin pen tool, Becca. Um, and you're right. I do not generally like it. I have made an addendum to my, um, review of the pin pen tool. And that is, it is very necessary for teeny tiny things. However, I stand by my comments about it would not be very good to weed HTV like this with just because you're using such big pieces it sort of bends on the end or it does for me because I'm a I'm a, a pretty um, rough weeder. Rachel would you ever weed this type of HTV with unless it were teeny tiny? With unless it were teeny tiny no I mean anything larger you just grab a pin pen tool when you have things that need to be plucked that are smaller than you know the regular reader tool that you use. I only use it for small things. I, I don't really use it on bigger things. Say like or look at that line. Also nice and right. Say like. Like. Say look. Look. At, look. So I'll say, uh, I'll just read that. Are you, say like, look at that line. Also nice and right. 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 Yeah. Do people say right? I say but right. That makes me feel like you're writing with like an ink pen. Right. 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 That comment. Oh, crap. Nah, nice. Is that what I say? Sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes I say, and I hate when I, I do really it. don't feel like I'm that Southern. Oil or bowl instead of oil and boil. Um, oh, oil. What oil. do you say? I don't say that un unless it's totally like a random. It, I think it also depends on how fast I'm talking. It does, yes. So... It would be nice if it got answered, if what got answered. Miss Barbara, if it's, if you're still talking about heat pressing on a mug, um, I touched on it. I can send you the link to the video of me heat pressing on a mug, but like I mentioned, it's not ideal, so I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, was there another question that we it. didn't see maybe? Let me I'm know. trying to look back. Yeah. I didn't see it. And don't um, forget it's easier for us if you copy it and paste it. Yeah. And that way we can see it more. So I'm going to start with this since it's just right in front of me. We do have this paper masking transfer or paper transfer tape um, that we get from Amazon. It's absolutely amazing. It's six inches by a hundred feet. So it lasts a good long time. And honestly, even for this much, I, I haven't bought Cricut transfer tape in forever because I would rather pick it up individually and put it down than use that stuff, to be quite honest. But I think that even at a hundred feet, this is still less expensive than one roll of the Cricut transfer. Would you make that assessment as well, Rachel? That's a fact, actually. Okay, fantastic. That's not an assessment, <laughs> that's a fact. Yes. Um, but I do want to say, 
The only other thing that I have appreciated Cricut transfer tape for glitter is I hate we glitter's trash. Is <laughs> um, you guys will see the video on it, but there's going to be a video on decorating Starbucks cups for Christmas. Oh, it, you want it clear? So well, Rachel, can, they make this type of thing in a clear. We need to get it from one four three. Now we have some. It's not clear. It's just like less foggy. Okay. So there might be a clear. If so, that's what we need. But I have had to grab that for that particular project so that I could see through it, if that makes sense, to line it up well. Um, Miss DeLorean, let me grab a link for you for that pin pin tool, my dear, and I will post that. Yes, and are you a member of Makers Gonna Learn as well? I am curious. If so, I just put a video out last Friday that was our top 15 must-have craft products in our craft room and this is one of them so if you've not checked it out go check that video out there's links to everything in it um but also Rachel will drop that link yes and glitter's trash glitter's trash Aaliyah and sin ever glitter is trash I like glitter heat transfer vinyl, Rachel. I love Glitter HTV. We're talking about vinyl. Okay, just making sure. No, Glitter HTV. I thought you meant all glitter. No, Glitter HTV is good. I was going to have to give you another point for uh, another negative. Oh, <laughs> and are you, do you have like a, a journal Well, that you I, go home at night and off the top, Off the top of my head... You get points for liking, you get bad points for liking olives. I get, oh. Bad I, points. Oh. Okay. Yeah, there was, oh, it, oh, oh, this one's, this is personal. Oh, no. This one's personal. Have you guys tried pumpkin, <laughs> pumpkin Becca, where'd you get those scissors? Huh? From my pouch. Uh-huh. Okay. That's what I thought. You're getting, you're getting. <laughs> 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 anyway, have you tried pumpkin spice Kit Kats? Because oh, I think yeah. they are heavenly. And Rachel says they taste like a candle. And I've taken it personally. If anybody has ever, on My Strange Addictions, <laughs> if you've just wanted to eat a candle. Stop just it. Just go and get the pumpkin spice no. Kit Kats and close your eyes. They're That's it. <laughs> Stop it. That's what it is. They're so good. Well, whatever. I um, feel like if you like pickles, you should like olives because... I it love is, pickles. They're not even close to the same. It's like a vegetable in a, in, in a vinegary brine, and that's basically the same thing. I love salt. Green olives are so salty, I can't even handle it. I love salt. You like green ones, but not black ones, or prefer green over black? I prefer green. If black's on like a pizza or something, I'll I'll really eat anything. I'm not picky, but I don't love. How black. did I measure this wrong? Did you measure it wrong? <laughs> I measured it wrong. Oops. Um, Miss Barbara, absolutely, my dear. We are here to serve you all. So if you have any questions, be sure to let us know, sweet Barbara. Um, Miss Alexis, hi. Is that considered sublimation? The Cricut Easy Press. So it is not. We are doing what's called HTV, this heat transfer vinyl, and it's not sublimation. Sublimation is an ink that is transferred into a fabric, and this iron-on is a material that um, is heated onto the fabric. So it's not in it. It's just sitting on top of it. It's like a, a material in itself. It doesn't um, get saturated and uh, soaked up in the... Um, blank quite like sublimation does but that's a good question um i'm fixing this i don't know what happened i don't know if i i didn't measure it wrong i wonder if i just hit something in it like resized so i've uh, to save this project just cut off the bottom layer that had the exclamation point because it was too wide cut the exclamation point off because you don't really need that here no and then i'm just manually putting this in here I love that save, Becca, Melissa says. Yes, yeah. thank you. Tiffany says, my husband really wants me to make a shirt that says, no, that's trash. Uh, it's something I've said for a long time and he thinks it's hilarious. He heard it on the lives a few times. Yeah. Um, speaking of trash, guys, can we talk about this? Because I'm 33. Rachel is 22. Mm -hmm. Neither one of us had heard of this. But my husband, who is 43... Knew exactly what I was talking about as soon as I said it and acted like I was an idiot because I didn't know. Do you guys know what if you say um, that's a dumpster fire or that's like a dumpster fire, what it means? Do you already know this term? Because I personally love it now that I know what it means and will likely wear the term out. But I'm just curious to know if Rachel and I are the only ones in the entire world who did not know what it meant. It's a thing. It's apparently. so hysterical. 
It's a thing. Okay. Um, does it just mean bad day or the it's situation like it, it's, is bad? The situation is bad. It's like, it, that was a train wreck. It would be the equivalent of saying A train that. wreck? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So like it's disastrous. Like a, okay, okay, okay. Good, yeah. good, good. Yes. Good, good. Um, uh, I don't hate capers, Sin. Capers are good on a salad. What is a caper, by the way? Is it an olive? What is it? I don't even know what a caper. Well, you know, it's just like a, basically like a salty pea. <laughs> But, the, but a pea, it's not a pea. It, I think it's uh, like in the olive family, maybe. Someone will know. Someone will know. Yeah, it means like hot mess. Hot mess or something like that. This is hysterical. I love this. Okay. Dumpster anyway, fire. so we have this yeah. amazing. And these um, come with these huge, gigantic jump rings. So we'll just throw one of those on. Uh, that way you can use it as a keychain. And I've mentioned before on, I think it was a member only that I did. I don't love how these come already pulled out like this. If, you, if you've if you messed with jump rings and jewelry and anything at all, um, you know that you want to bend them away from each other instead of out because it's difficult to get them back together in, um, like to line them up. I put those pliers. Small peppers. Peppers are small okay. peppers. I love, I love peppers. Where did I put that thing? I put the pliers somewhere thinking this will, this will be, a, no, they're not. This, oh, right here. <laughs> There's so much on this desk. I cannot even see. Anyway, so ideally you would just have, I mean, they would have just been like this and then you would twist them back together, but you're having to just kind of squeeze them and it just sort of looks deformed if you don't do it really, really oh, no, well. Um, 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 I was lying. It's a, a flower bud, which could be a still a pepper. I don't know. Uh, flower bud, yeah, yeah, something like that. What? Is a caper. I don't know I was eating a flower bud. Me either, but I still like them. I like them too. What did Aaliyah say? Huh? Because Sin said, uh, Sin, please tell me you just knew all that. Oh. Sin, copy and paste it from uh, oh. Wiki. Is that how you say that? Wiki? Yeah, Wiki? like Wikipedia. Wiki? Oh, it's Wiki. Is it Wiki? I don't know. Okay. I'm getting so sidetracked, guys. I'm so sorry. My, my <clears> fault. <throat> we're talking about capers. <laughs> Okay, so we're moving on to this Mary Everything. And you may have noticed um, with the other one, I went ahead and cut off the excess of the uh, transfer paper just because it's a little bit easier. You know what? I did not burnish on the back. Anyway, cutting off the extra, especially when um, you can't see through it, is a little bit easier to place and make sure that you're even and where you want to be. Um, so that's why I cut off the extra on the keychain bah humbug cut file. And then I'm gonna do that with this one as well. This one's not wanting to stick as well. But you can just be patient with it. Work it a little bit. Oh, there we, oh, I thought that was it. <laughs> That's not it, there we go. Here we go. Am I missing anything? I can't look at the comments and no. cut at the same time. Did I'm you clean your mug with I haven't, but I'm going to. I have it right here. See? See, guys? Thank you. Becca knows exactly what she's doing. She's a professional. Yeah, uh, right, however, sometimes I do forget. So. But yes, my alcohol is right here. And then I have a paper towel. And like everyone says, you definitely want to just grab a little bit of alcohol and clean the surface that you're going to be putting. In fact, I should have done it on the um, keychain, but I didn't. It should be okay. Anyway, cleaning that and then make sure it's really good and dry before you put your vinyl down. This will ensure that any like oils from your hands or uh, dust or anything like that does not interfere with the stickiness. Now, this is a big debate here. Do you want to hold the mug and see it? Or do you want to hold the mug? Now, also it depends on if you're left-handed or right-handed. I'm right-handed. It's it, I usually will do it with how which hand you so hold that you, it. See you want it. it facing out. Well, that's the way people. I did this one. That's the way I did this one. Oh, you did it so that you could see so it. So that I could see it. I oh, would, I would do it so that other people could see it. But I mean, like, if you're if you're drinking coffee on uh, at your desk and all by yourself, no one can see it. Oh, all by yourself. <laughs> oh, that seems like a sad day. But it alrighty. does. We're gonna do this one the way that you like it. 
Okay. And so That's when, just... when you're drinking coffee, I can see it. And when I'm drinking coffee, I can see it. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> but the nice thing about not putting this straight, uh, straight in the center, one, I really like the aesthetics of this. I think it just looks cool. And uh, But two is I don't really have to worry as much about getting it centered because I can use the bottom of the mug sort of as my guide. And everything is um, a, a straight line. Don't pay attention up here. Pay attention to the everything part. And then we're just going to lay it down. Oh, you know what? I cleaned the wrong side. Oh, boy. I cleaned the other side. And then you made me feel pressured to put this oh, on. Oh, I made you. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Uh, this is metal. This is a metal, so it's yes. not really stainless steel. No, it's um, like a like a camping. Just yeah, a camping bug. These are so bug, cute. Yeah. yeah, put it on both sides, guys. If you want to, that's fine. I prefer to do things towards other people. Like uh, she, I had. She like just a, thinks of other people. What? You think of other people. Oh, do that you have it so other people can read it. It's true. My tattoo is facing out. Whenever I would wear like statement rings that have like my initial or something, I always have that facing out. Most of my tattoos are so I can see them. That's that's nice. I feel like that. No, it's like it speaks volumes about you as a person. You think of other people. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. Hmm. That's that's burnishing that's this on. Crystal, uh, Becca will have a link for this. It's off of Etsy. I never shop on Etsy, so I wouldn't even know how to go about finding it. The motel keys? Yes. Look at that. How easy and how cute. Perfect. I love it. Uh, but Becca will link all those <clears throat> for you. Okay. I should have preheated my Easy Press, but I did not. But we are going to move along to our third and fourth projects. And we are going to preheat our Easy Press to 350. And I'm going to clean up a little bit so that our workspace is not as overwhelming as it is right now. Wes is so sweet. He what? Said, Let's hear it. I forgot how therapeutic watching lives were. Oh, that is sweet. That's Thank really you. sweet, Wes. I love that. Wait, did he say what his daughter's name was? Because I missed it. Um, Evangeline. Evangeline. Oh, I love Evangeline. that. Amazing. Hope everyone is doing wonderfully. Do you say Evangeline or Evang Evangeline? Evangeline. Good question. Because you could say it differently yeah, depending, sure. you know, totally. Okay. Um, I want to talk about this for a second because we've been doing a lot of weeding and um, does everyone have, do most people use the Cricut scraper tools or do you have a like different brand? And the only reason I'm asking is the Cricut scraper tools tend to be a little bit, for lack of a better word, sharp. And so I feel like when you're doing little bitty weeding like this, sometimes you can accidentally grab the uh, little letters when you're, when you're scrape or when you're burnishing and it kind of peels up or that has been, you know, um uh, what i have found and we love these scrapers by it says 651 but it's 143 vinyl now because they're a little bit more bendy but they are more rounded corners and i feel like honestly these are so much better you would not think it makes a difference but it really does i'm just curious to know what you guys think as well and Ms. Crystal, like I mentioned, they are from Etsy. Becca will link them later for you. Well, we had kind of a switch up. Today was actually Tanner's day, and then he was going to do some shooting in Knoxville, and we were going to go with him, and so we were going to do a pre-recorded thing, and that, long story short, um, I was not very well prepared for today. I'm sorry. Um, let's go out just a little bit. There we go. Let's do our tote bag first first and I was not thinking but what I would probably do is grab the small easy press mat and put it in here if you have the small one go ahead and do that um, just so that you're not um, having to worry about like this being an issue although I think I'm gonna put it further down so it might not even matter just a thought I, I like to put mats inside things when I'm doing it if yeah. I can and Miss Delor DeLorean, I did link that for you. This is the second time. It's right under your comment. So if you scroll up, you will see that, my dear. Is this even? Looks good to me. Okay, we're going with it. Um, What was that? Do you need to seal the mug or just hand wash? Anne, feel free to seal it. 
Um, I've never had to though. But I would just hand wash and be good to go. So I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked that. My kids have um, Yetis or um, what's the other brand that Hydro Floss. They have Yetis and Hydro Floss that they take to school. And so I've taken vinyl and written their name with it and put it on there. And we throw those things in the dishwasher all the time and haven't had any issues with them. Um, one of Beckett's is going on three years with no issues. So I honestly, mm, I don't, I would not say you had to by any means. Okay, so we have this, our Easy Press has preheated, and then we're just gonna start in the middle. If you are not familiar with this particular Easy Press, when you think of heat transfer vinyl um, and heat application products, you might think of just a press that you hold down and don't have to move around, and that's great, but Cricut came out with this little mini Easy Press that is intended to be moved around. It's amazing, it has a beveled edge on it, so it helps you if you are ironing onto wood or a surface that's not perfectly flat. Um, it really just helps you get in there and um, apply heat everywhere so that you have a good application of your heat transfer vinyl. So um, it also is confusing for me in my head when I started thinking about, um, when I, when I first started, I just had the large 10 by 12 easy press. And so obviously you're like, okay, I'm going to leave it here for 20 seconds and then I'm going to pull it up and that's enough. But when you're using this guy and moving it around, it's not on one spot for 20 seconds. So in my head, that didn't make sense. Like, why does it work one way, but not the other? I honestly don't know the science behind it. Maybe this little guy is magic. I don't know. I'm not going to question it anymore because it just works. They say <clears throat> since there's only three heat settings, 300, 350, and 400, you set things for cotton and t-shirts and stuff on 350. So the extra heat kind of cancels out the less time you are pressing your vinyl, if that makes sense. Okay. So... That's what you hear. I don't know though. Did you all order more of the mini heat presses? We did. We ordered two yeah. more. And honestly, we somebody won one in our summit, fall summit. Shay. Was it Shay? Shay did, yeah. I couldn't remember. Yeah, what there she, she goes. Yes. I love it. One at the summit, and it's really the best. Yes. So we sent one of ours to her. We need to order another one. Um, but yes, we love uh, we love them. No, we got two. We got two, but. Oh, you sent one. You didn't send one from here. You no. just shipped it straight yeah, to her. Yeah, I just her. shipped You're it right. straight yeah, 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 to yeah, yeah. So we got two. I was thinking of cats that um, we shipped. You should. had to have it shipped yes. here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what you're looking for when you're doing heat transfer vinyl with the Easy Press is the little bubbles to come up. You'll see the little bubbles, and that's a good indicator that your heat transfer has adhered and you are ready to peel back. So when you're peeling back, just do it very slowly so that if you have any spots that haven't laid down well, you can lay your uh, transfer sheet back down. Like right here is a little bit sticky. So I'm just gonna lay it back down, apply a little bit of heat, um, and then try again. Don't, definitely don't just rip it off. But there we go. Look how cute. So cute. Oh, I love. Tis the season. They're so fun. Super cute. And at this price, guys, honestly, gift bags are pretty expensive now. Have you noticed that, Rachel? I have. They're insane. So like I said, this was $5.99. If you got it at 40% off, you're looking at what? A little, around $3. Um, That's exactly, if not... Uh, less than what you would pay for a really good quality yes. paper bag at Walmart. So make a cute custom gift bag like this, put their gift in it, and then that's really two gifts. Perfect. Your friends are just gonna think you're absolutely amazing. Perfect. Okay, so then we have this little guy right here. And this could be challenging because I didn't, let's see. Ideally, might put like a shirt or something in that to kind of give us a little bit of um, cushion. Thankfully, I have this random napkin. <laughs> I don't know why. And then I'm going to put it in there for a little bit of cushion. And Miss Susan, the bag, it was from the one that she just finished, I think is the one you're referring to, is from Hobby Lobby. And this one right here um becca did go into a spiel about where this guy was from yes atlanta mart and so um i'm gonna have to link this for you i've got to find out the name first of all because i've never even heard of it uh you do have to have a business license to purchase from them and there is a i think it was a hundred dollar minimum order opening order um but if you're looking to to buy lots of blanks it's a really great um little company to do that with 
So I'm just gonna lay this down here. I can't tell. I think that's probably Looks darker okay. than me. Okay. So it's hard to tell, guys, when you're over there where Becca's at. Um, the table one, is so high. Number one, you don't want to get your face over the camera. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And number two, the table's high and you're sitting low, so it's hard. You just you and three, really the lights it. are really bright in your face. It's, that's true as well. That is true as well. Okay, I'm gonna Melissa move. says this is my favorite cup ball. Is it? Maybe under the mistletoe. I it's love really it. Cute. Becca did a fantastic job on that collection. Um, spoiler alert! I think. I think it's on my list of possibilities that I am going to do a fun felt mistletoe project as a member only video and do a cute little sign above it that says, uh, you know what to do. Oh, that would be very cute. This one's a little bit difficult guys. So that is a good reason to have this little mini easy press. Um, the bottom of this, I, I can't imagine doing this with just a flat, Easy press. I yeah. I'm not uh, sure that it would work. We though. had like an updated video on which Easy Press should I buy that you guys have probably already seen. But one of my main points, and Becca, I didn't even think about this like as you're working with it, but once you switch from the mini to like a bigger Easy Press, you lose that control. And oh, it yeah. It bugs me. It bugs me because when you're using the baby Easy Press, you can literally watch your uh project be successful but when you're using just the big press it's just under there and you're like well i hope this is adhering later. yeah you know yeah but yeah good point yeah has the, is that video out yeah it's been out for a while oh, okay absolutely yeah i can't ever keep up with what all we've done it's a lot but there we go so I, cute. yeah that would not have gone that well with a regular oh we're sticking up right there so all i want to do is just grab that transfer sheet again or one in general it doesn't matter which one just protect it. Protect it from the heat. Miss Shay said, Becca, the more you do felt, the more I love it. I love to hear that. Yeah, yeah. Becca likes to convert people. I love felt, man. It's so good. Look at that. We have four projects. <laughs> what time is it? Okay, it's 2.35, but we talk a lot. But we got fun. four projects done. A lot of chatting, a lot of catching up with our friends. Four projects finished in an, we'll say an hour. Yeah, it was an hour. We chatted a little at the beginning. And we the had beginning. a little issue with our cricket yes becca definitely under an hour yeah mr roberta yes the member only videos that miss becca slaves over are on facebook they are and we are i don't even know if i'm supposed to tell you this or not but you guys know i love to tell stuff i'm not entirely <laughs> supposed to we are gonna have a fun um website relaunch here soon so our our website is gonna have a little overhaul um, based off of feedback from you all because we're always wanting to improve. And um, one of the things that is going to be improved on it is there will be an actual tab for member only videos. So they won't have to be in Facebook anymore. You will have to be signed into your account. Your maker's going to learn account and then you can select that tab and you'll be able to view them all there. And that's where we'll add them. It'll be really nice. And then I'll probably still do like little reminders on Fridays. Hey guys, we posted a new video just to keep you um, aware and and remembering that that is a wonderful benefit of being a Makers and Learn member. Again, that actually kind of brings me full circle. Uh, I did talk about it at the beginning of the segment, but our membership is still on sale. I don't know how much longer it's going to be on sale because it's been on sale for... I would say the better part of the month. Um, so take advantage of it. It's using co code FALL30. You get $30 off our year membership. It is a our second best value on our membership, honestly. In the entire um, for the entire for the year. entire year. Yeah. yeah, you're not going to get it cheaper than this, other than like at Black Friday. Uh, and if you're waiting till Black Friday and you're already interested in crafting, that's don't do too it. late. Don't, don't do, do it. that. You're going to miss out. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. The napkin is from Tanner's table setting. Yes, it is. So I'm very glad they only needed six because I stole that forever ago to fill up a bag for, for photos for a photo yeah. and totally forgot and would not have remembered where I put it. But yes, we got those from World Market. Are they not the cutest? I have those personally in my house as well, and I love them. Um, Sin, <laughs> I love Sin. What? What? 
Since it, yeah, that sale was supposed to end ages ago, so grab it ASAP. Yeah. In fact, Sin, we said before the live, I wonder if the sale is still going on, but since we didn't know either way, we just made an executive decision to yeah. give that, that Most value. Most of the time we get it, we will receive a quick text. Yeah, before right before the live. <clears throat> yeah, you never know. You never know. So funny. That will be changed. I think we'll have a few years before we have my dad. We did have a concern with Disney layoffs, but he retained his job in Florida and won't be coming home. I do miss them. Oh. Um, oh, someone said that Shay has the, Shay has the bougie felt. It's good felt, isn't it's it? It's good felt. Good felt. So good. Um, speaking of felt, what mat does everyone, oh, you already answered that. It's okay though. Sorry. Okay. It's fine. Um, did I miss anything else? No, everybody's been doing great. Guys, this is such a fun life. Oh my goodness. I have had so much fun. It was a great one today, Becca. Thank you. Good day, a good day. Guys, I got a new trash can today. She is, that's not all she got. Yeah, she got a new trash can today. Yeah, that's the most exciting thing. But you know what? That actually excites me the most. It's an out like the city the trash, trash can. It's a nice trash can. It's a nice trash can. I want a new trash can. Yes. What am I going to do? What calls do I have to make? <laughs> I want a new trash can. I'll hook you up, Rachel. Please, I'll call him on do. your behalf. I thought she had two trash cans. I'm like, you got two trash cans? Because my neighbor puts his trash can near ours. That's four inches yeah. away from it. So I got a new vehicle and I had to take. I had to go to my house to drop some stuff off. And so then I saw the trash can. Uh, but Rachel rode with me. So What'd she, you get, Becca? I got a car. No. <laughs> I got a Tahoe. She's a Tahoe mom. Yes, and it's I'm a beautiful. Tahoe mom. I keep glancing at it out of the window and be like, who is that? Oh, it's Becca's new rod. <laughs> so yeah. I had... Um, I had a Forerunner, a Toyota Forerunner, mm -hmm. and I loved it. Oh my gosh, I absolutely loved it. But um, we were she using. She was not very sorry to see it go today. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we use it to pull my camper, and it has a five thousand pound towing capacity, and it just like that's enough to tow my camper because it's only a twenty twenty one foot camper with one slide out. Um, but it just didn't love to go like up hills and things. Um, also, when you know my family is getting bigger, and Forerunners are not huge vehicles, so we upgraded. It, it's not brand new. And by it's, bigger, it's she means her children are growing. We're going to be flooded with comments on the Becca's pregnant or adopted oh, again. No. The, the children are getting bigger. Yes, thank which you. Which is good. Ugh. No. <laughs> no. Becca's so humble. She's so, I love uh, it. Uh, no, she's a tall homo. It's beautiful, guys. Leather and tears. So many bells and whistles. Becca deserves it so much. It's literally gorgeous. She's you so sweet. Are... Rachel's sweet. I've never had a vehicle that had all the bells and whistles. I've had some bells and whistles, but... Oh, so what happened was we've been looking for a couple of months and you can't find vehicles right now for towing that are used and low mileage and a good price and uh, white because I'm specific about what color I want. It's been very difficult. And so we drove by this one lot um, and I saw, I saw a Lexus SUV and I was like, I wonder about them. I thought they would be like absolutely astronomical, but since it was used, it was pretty affordable, yeah. honestly. And so I talked to my husband and this was at 530. They closed at seven o'clock. Got to the house. Wayne had dinner ready because we had been at dance class. Um, and I was like, you want to go test drive a vehicle? And he was like, right now? Yeah. yeah. He was like, well, let, let me feed the kids first. And I was like, we don't have time for that. So he's like, well, I made dinner. Anyway, fed him. We didn't leave the house till like five after six. So I was expecting just to test drive it and go, right? So we go test drive the, the Lexus. It was a GX4, I don't know, something very nice like absolutely gorgeous but it was so small it was smaller than my forerunner yeah so um we talked to the guy who had helped us out and we're just like you know this is great but we're gonna pass on it this is really what we're looking for and i was looking for a tahoe or a yukon um and he was like hmm our truck that delivers new vehicles just came and it, they like park it across the street and take the trucks or take the, the vehicles off and bring it over he said and i think there's a tahoe on it and i was like what color is it? He was like, I don't even know. And I was like, well, how many miles? I don't, again, I don't know. I don't like know. Like it's literally on the truck. <laughs> yeah. They just got it. Literally right after that, pull it in and I'm like, it's white. 
That and that's what she wanted. It's what that I wanted. wanted to find out the mileage. Find out all this. So it was totally, I feel like a God orchestrated thing because when we started mm -hmm. talking about numbers, they were exactly where Wayne and I were comfortable. Um, the amount that they gave us trade and wise was exactly what Wayne and I wanted for it. So it was sort of just amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. So we're happy, happy about it. Yes. Um. It's beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I miss anything? I, I ran to No, a lot. someone asked about the um, color and it is what? Yes, yes. And Miss Irma, that's fine. It can get so confusing sometimes. Who's Tanner, Becca, Rachel? Who's typing? Who's talking? It can get confusing. I Listen, totally guys, I'm a twin. So I answer to anything because Becca's I'm used to I'm it. used to answering yeah. to anything. So we we hear a lot of Rebecca's here, which is a good clash. Uh, well, Rebecca is Be Becca's birth name. That is your name name. Mm -hmm. But uh, you go by Becca. Of course, I'm Rachel. And a lot of people say Rebecca if they're brand spanking new. And I think they're trying to mesh my, me and Becca together. And that's fine. We'll answer to Rebecca. We're used to that now. I'm I sure am. Yes, Aaliyah. I've never had a brand new car either. Um, my I, I kind of feel like, you know, you don't want to get a brand new car and then be the one who puts a ding in it or opens a car door, you know? Like, yeah. And so if you get if you get a used one that already has a couple of little things, then it's not as bad, you know? True, it's true. Also, it's already been they're way more affordable. <laughs> so true. Guys, like one year off the lot, it's gone down so much in prices. It's awesome. Adrian, you're a twin too? Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Identical, fraternal. Let me know. I'm curious. Melissa says, do you name your cars? Uh, all car namers This here. is a good question. This yes. Is a good question. So I'm currently trying to decide, and I think I already know. Rachel, you wrote in it, is it a girl or a boy? I That's the hard part. I think it's a boy. I do too. Okay. So we're there. We're in between like text, text the Tahoe. Yeah. Because, and this is why. When it drove, oh God, it's terrible. When it drove on the lot, it had this deer guard that, honest to God, I've never seen a deer guard this like big on Like one of those vehicle, big ever. meaty brush Huge. guards that you would see on like a cop car, like just massive. Can't Huge. even fit in the car. Big. So then we're looking at it and somehow we came up with the story that the car was probably from Texas, like on a ranch or something. So that's why I'm thinking Tex, the Tahoe, mm -hmm. Texas. Yeah, yeah. Also, there's some magic things in it. So I'm thinking, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of things whirling around. Identical, two minutes part. I am younger. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Anne and I are identical, and I am one minute younger. Amazing. One minute younger. There's nothing like it. Do you live around your twin? I have twin cousins. They're my first cousins. Actually, they say twins don't identical twins don't run in families. I have two sets. One set that is my first cousin that's identical, and then another set that are my second cousins that are identical. So, anyway. It's all um, done, yeah. Yeah. And my, the twin cousins that are my first set, they don't live near each other. So one lived in Greenville, South Carolina for a while, and the other one was in New Jersey at Princeton. And I cannot imagine being that far away from Anna. It would be terrible. Yes, they live together. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, <laughs> I love that. I love that. Kat said someone in the hospital parking lot during her husband's last surgery uh, backed into her truck and dented the bumper. No one left anything, and it was only two years old. Kat, that is literally so That's so terrible. Sad. So sad. Um, but no, and Becca's other car that she uh, traded in today, uh, its name was Tuesday. Beckett named the car Tuesday. Tuesday. Wayne, uh, Wayne's car has a name. What is Wayne's car's name? Yeti. Yeti, that's correct. Yeti, yes. Yeti. I had Maxine the Maxima, and now I have Jessa the Jetta, and it, you know, we love the name of our car, so that's, all, that's right. Oh, she's in Delaware, and her twin's in California. I'm so sorry. We love FaceTime. FaceTime is really nice, yeah. yes, for sure. Uh, that's so mean to leave without putting the foot. It is. Okay, it I, is. I've got a story. Let's I don't hear. think I've ever, I think I told Becca. Um, so... And guys, I did, literally, I did all that I could, okay? I was getting a pizza from a local pizza place, okay? And there was this trailer pulling in, and he was waving at me to, like, move out of his way. So I was like, oh, okay, sorry, trailer. So I back out a little more in a huff than I normally would, and I just kind of tap the car behind me, parked, like, in there eating pizza. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I've tapped this car. I, so I pull right back into my spot and I'm like, go on trailer. So I, I look around at the car, at my car, at their car. And I'm like, okay, 
So I go into the pizza place and I say, uh, yes, excuse me, does anyone that works here, like I talked to the manager, I'm like, does anyone that works here drive this car? They're like, no. And I'm like, well, I might have possibly tapped it. I really need to know who drives it. I said, do you care if I go into the dining room and ask around? So here I am in Pizza Inn, just going around all the time. I'm like, excuse me, do you, <laughs> excuse me, um, do you drive a blue Toyota? Excuse me, do you drive? No, Becca, no one in the, no one drove that blue Toyota. So I go up to the front desk and I leave my name and my number okay. and I say, can you please have whoever call me if they come back in or anything? I said, the car is completely fine, but if you want to tell everybody as they're checking out that if they drive this car, I mean, I did everything I could. I never got a call. Well, if they didn't see anything. I did the best that I could. So I don't no remember where I was, but someone hit me. Oh, in Dunkin' Donuts drive through <laughs> I don't want to hit you. She hit me. She oh, hit, she Lord. rear ended me, and it didn't do anything at all. So I was like, "Go have a better day." And then I paid for her coffee because, like, at that point, oh my god, at that point, that gosh. no, she I didn't was say probably it. a mess too. That's the thing. Oh, like, you just need to have grace for people, right? And I thought at this point, her day is way worse than mine. So how can I make that better? Because you know, if you hit somebody's car, whether it was bad or not, you would feel bad the rest of the day. Oh, I did. There was a, yeah. item, like I was going yeah. to a party. I was picking up pizzas for a party. Like my, my evening was ruined thinking of who, you know, whose day I ruined. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah. That's be, be nice to people. Be kind. Love God. Love people. It's all we can do. Yes. Guys, this has been so much fun. I, I've missed you all. Even though I was like over there, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's still good. Don't get me wrong. But I'm so glad to have been here with you guys. I'm glad that the schedule got all weird and... I, I'm just grateful. Yes. Hello, Anita. It's so good Hi, to see you. Hi, yes. Becca, Anita, you missed it. Becca made four adorable projects. So, I'll show them to you. Yes. Wine tote. Two little... This could be like a makeup bag or like a tech bag. I don't know. A little cup. And a keychain. That's not a keychain. I made this one. So much fun. So Go back cute. and watch it. Yes. Definitely. Anyway. Thanks so much for tuning in with us. We, someone will be here tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our font release. We do have some projects that we will be sharing with you guys going over our fonts. This font release is absolutely amazing. I did tell you that if you missed it, this font right here on the bottom that I made this entire cut file collection with um, is being released tomorrow. It's called Naomi, so you're gonna love it. And then there's another one, I think it's called South, is it North Pole? New, the North Pole. North Pole. Because the South Pole has nothing to do with Christmas. <laughs> Whoops. South Pole. It's okay. It's called the North Pole. I honestly, I wish I had known about it before this one because I think I might even like it better than Naomi for Christmas projects. It is so stinking cute. You're going to love it. You're going to love a lot of those fonts. But anyway, have a fantastic day. Tune in tomorrow with us at 1.30. If this is your first time viewing, hit subscribe so that you can watch other videos with us. And then if you are watching this not live, leave some comments below if you have any questions. We'd love to answer those for you. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Happy crafting.